Hi, welcome to Pyography Made Easy. I'm Brenda. In this episode, we will be heading out to the shop again so Todd can show us how to build this pen tip holder. The holder is a great way to organize your tips and keep them nearby for easy access. I get to be the camera person again this time, so let's go to the shop and build something. Hi, welcome to the shop, or welcome back to the shop if you were here before with us doing the sander. This is a project to hold pen nibs. Now, I did this for Brenda because she had amassed about a billion of them, and she was, you know, they were rolling around in a box. She wanted something that's easy to get to. She could arrange all of her pen nibs. So, okay, easy enough. You just need to have, this is one of the pen nibs she has. Now, you need to go by this. There's a certain distance here. The hole has to be big enough that you can put this down into so that you can get that into it, but not so big that the flange part goes down in as well. You want it to catch. So for this, it's a half inch. Half inch is just right. So if you have a half inch drill bit, I'm using Brad pointed because it helps to guide that right where I want it to go. And there's not a lot of extra room on a three quarter inch board for a half inch. You basically get an eighth on each side and that's not a lot, but it's doable. It is doable. If you have a drill press, That'd be great because that makes it a whole lot easier. Um, were I doing it for Brenda, that's exactly how I do it. But I'm going to try to show you how to do it with just these tools. You'll need a ruler, pencil. I use a scratch all to ink and start a point so that the brad tip goes in that point. And some glue. Now, this one, the boards are six inches by four inches, six inches by three inches, six inches by two inches. With three quarter inch spacing between the holes, that will make 21 holes. So you put 21 nibs in this. If you don't need that many, don't make that many. Take the two and the three, put those together with seven each and you've got 14. Maybe you just need seven. You could just do this. If you do that, I'd take another piece as well and glue them together just so that it's got a little stability so it don't fall over on you. But it really depends what you want. So let's, let's get down to how we're going to mark and measure to get this thing drilled. Because I see the hardest part is going to be drilling it. Everything else is going to go quick and easy. So it's just gluing, really. So get your boards ready, and let's meet back here to start drilling. Okay, we're going to start marking the first board. We have to mark all three of the boards this way. So let's, first off, it's, it's three quarters of an inch this way. So you need a center line down the middle. And then we need three quarter inch spacing. So let's, I'm going to do this three quarter inch spacing first. You put your ruler on, starting at your dividing line here, and just count them up. One, two, three quarters. One, two, three quarters. One, two. Now we've got those. Now we need to turn it this way. We need a center line. So for all of you mathematically challenged people in the world who hate fractions, I'm going to make this easy for you. It's three quarters of an inch wide and half of three quarters is three eighths. So one, two, three eighths. One, two, three eighths. Turn it back around. Now we're going to put a hole in where your center line intersects your three quarter inch space lines. And then because this tip is, is just a little bit less than an inch, I'm going to drill them just about an inch deep. To do that, if you notice on the drill bit, I put a little masking tape around there that tells me about where an inch is up. And that gives you your depth. When you start these things, most of these drills have a fast speed for drilling and a slow street speed for using it as a screwdriver. Now to get these started, I start on the slow speed because you've got more control. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to start these on the slow speed, then go to the high speed.
Okay, well we've got all these drilled, and uh, I'm just gonna, if you're here for the sanding one last time, your sander's gonna get a workout. So you can drill the, just sand them top, get the, the sides sanded, because we're gonna glue these together. All right, now I suggest gluing two together and then the third one a little bit later on. So let's do, we're gonna glue these, uh, these two together now. And we'll cover up the two and three inch because you probably don't wanna watch, you don't probably wanna look at that on your desk anyway, so. A little glue. You do not have to flood these. Just a little glue is fine. You're not holding up the world with this. If you work it back and forth, that kind of helps it to start to stick and squeeze at the same time. And line them up. Check the bottom, you have a little glue squeeze out at the bottom. Let that set about 15 minutes. And we'll come back and do the next one. Okay, we're back and time to do this guy up. So again, we're just gonna a little bit of glue on here. Not a ton. Most important parts, make sure you get all the holes on top. If you have clamps, you surely can use them, but you don't need them. All right, that's good. 20 minutes, we can move on to the rest of it. Okay, I mean, that's really it. Three boards, 21 holes, glued together, and you have a pen nib holder working as advertised. Now it's pretty, pretty plain, I will admit, it's just pine board, but there are some things you can do to dress it up if you want something a little more uh, fancy on your, on your workspace. So I built a bed and, and we, uh, we did this with it. It kind of has an interesting, effect on pine. It won't work on just every board. But you just take a blowtorch. This is my version of pyrography right here. You're not trying to burn it all the way black. You're actually trying to let the lines in the grain, which don't burn the same all the way around. They just don't. It's a little warm. Here we go. A little bit of uh, zebra striping for your... If you want to go a little bit fancier than that, you can always use another wood besides pine. I did up uh, a different one. That's some scrap that I had around here. Now it's a really nice scrap, but it's Paduke maple and walnut. It's, um, it's still exactly the same, 21 setup. Um, two inches, three inches, four inches by six inches. It's exactly the same dimensions. It's just different wood. It looks a little different, works exactly the same, and it still sticks in the top. Well, if you wanna build that, there's uh, gonna be some plans, so I hope you enjoyed. It's a very easy build, very fun, go for it. Thanks for watching, have a good day. I hope you liked the tutorial and found the information informative. My website, Biography Made Easy, has a blog that provides the written instructions and the parts list for this pin tip holder. Well, thank you for watching, and I will see you next week.